Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will talk about OPZ. OPZ stands for orthopantomograph. This is an X-ray. You can see here the OPZ. This is the right side. This is left side. This OPZ includes the extra of your face including both jaws this is upper jaw and this is the lower jaw of your face and the dentition the teeth present in both both of the jaws the maxillary there are sinuses and the nasal cavity separated by nasal septum Temporomandibular joint in either side. This is the mandible. Let me show the border of the mandible. This is the condyle, condylar head, and this is the temporomandibular joint. You can see here. this is the ramus. This is angle of the mandible, the lower border of the body of the mandible, this is the anterior chain and same things in the right side, condyle, condyle on the right part of the mandible, this is the right condyle and right temporal mandibular joint here, this is the right angle and here you can see the right maxilla and the left maxilla. Now let us discuss about the teeth present in this x-ray. Here we can see hard molars or the wisdom teeth are absent. They might be extracted or developmentally absent. And some teeth have restoration here left upper second molar has restoration and the left upper permanent five or second molar three molar has conservative treatment this tail this tooth was endontically treated and also restoration so this is normal OPZ now let me show another OPZ in this video in this x-ray you can see here the condylar head is very clear this is the coronoid process this is the coronoid process, this is the condylar process of the mandible and what about the wisdom teeth in this x-ray? You can see here this is the right third molar, left third molar, this is the left upper third molar, this is the right upper third molar and all these third molar are present here and it is very clear that the lower right and left third molar are horizontally impacted and this is also impacted too now let's see another OPZ you can see here all third molar are impacted here and uh, almost all teeth was treated by endodentically that is, the, that is the root canal treatment was done to the almost all teeth this is another OPZ and here you can see haphazard situation actually it is due to having two set of teeth both deciduous and the permanent teeth 
you can see here the permanent is present below the deciduous steel you know 20 deciduous steel are there in your side and here this is the permanent tea located below the deciduous steel this is right permanent first lower molar this is left one this is right upper first molar and this is left upper first molar you can see here the developing hard molar here and the second molar also under developing and eruption so this is a normal OBG here the deciduous teeth are being shedding this is another OPC you can see here all third molar under eruption and almost all teeth are healthy in condition but you can see here the different things the lower border of the mandible in the angle region there may have a fracture on either side or it might be technical fault but in this OPG this is clear that there is discontinuation in the both angle region of the mandible and this is the angle fracture of the mandible you can see the rough impression of the fracture from OPZ so let's discuss some other structure we can see the periodontal condition of the patients such as the alveolar bone rejection and height of the alveolar bone here you can see this is the alveolar process alveolar bone are healthy and the lamina dura also healthy and good in condition also you can see the any kind of root rejection any tumor ceased or other pathology such as the metastatic pathology or any kind of cyst such as dentizera cyst rhombogenic keratocyst, cyst and the amyloblastoma located in the posterior mandible nasopalatine duct cyst nasolabial cyst and so many cyst rhombogenic non rhombogenic tumors located in the jaw you can see here from a simple OPG so OPG is very much important and routine radiograph for dental surgeon and this OPG is very much helpful for diagnosing the disease of the teeth as well as the jaws such as different types of cyst odontogenic and non odontogenic tumor of the jaw bone hope this video will be helpful for you but remember sometimes this maxillary air sinuses and the nasal cavities may be misunder misinterpretation and this may be determined or treated as pathological cavity actually this is a normal structure of the maxilla and represent the maxillary air sinus in the nasal cavities and this is the infratemporal region located radiolucency and this radiolucent area also maxillary air sinus and this radiolucent area is the nasal cavity teeth are radioopaque due to highly calcified enamel and dentin and jaws less opaque, no, opaque than teeth 
this is the normal OBZ and please share this video with your friends leave a comment if you have anything or any question and like this video and subscribe to our